You know that feeling when you're madly in love? Your heart races, your thoughts spiral, and suddenly, this one person becomes the center of your universe? Well, scientists once put people in that exact state inside an MRI machine. And what they found? Love literally hijacks your brain. And today, we're diving into the first ever brain scan study of people in love. A groundbreaking experiment that revealed the brain's secret love code. Let's rewind to the year 2000. Two neuroscientists, Andreas Bartels and Samir Zeki, asked a bold question. What happens inside the brain when a person is romantically in love? They weren't looking for poetry. They wanted cold, hard science. So they brought in 17 people all deeply in love. Each participant was shown two photos while inside an fMRI scanner. One of their romantic partner and one of a neutral acquaintance, like a friend. And what happened next was stunning. When these participants looked at the face of the person they loved, a very specific group of brain regions lit up like fireworks. Mainly two areas stood out. The ventral tegmental area, VTA, the caudate nucleus. Now, here's the wild part. These are both dopamine-rich zones. They're part of the brain's reward and motivation system. The same system that lights up when you eat chocolate, win money, or use addictive drugs. Being in love activates the same brain system as a hit of cocaine. This is what explains the rush, the focus, the emotional high. It's not in your imagination. Your brain literally treats love like a biological jackpot. So what does this mean? It means that romantic love isn't just emotional. It's deeply neurological. Your brain sees your partner not just as someone you like, but as someone who delivers powerful reward. That's why new love can feel obsessive. It's why just seeing or hearing from your partner can give you a literal chemical boost. The study also found that areas of the brain linked to critical thinking and negative emotions actually deactivated when people looked at their loved ones. Translation? Love makes you see your partner through rose-colored brain chemistry. This finding has become the foundation for how we understand love today. Helen Fisher later built on this work and famously said, Romantic love is an addiction, a perfectly wonderful addiction when it's going well, and a perfectly horrible one when it's going badly. And Bartles and Zeke gave us the first scientific proof of that. So the next time you feel like love is driving you a little crazy, you're not wrong, you're just high on dopamine. That was just one study, but it opened the floodgates for an entirely new field, the neuroscience of love. In the next episodes, we'll break down more research, from love chemicals to attachment, from obsession to heartbreak. Until then, stay curious, and maybe a little bit in love.